Hello and welcome to another BZ Power Set Review. I am BZ Power Reporter and definitely not an Android, XCCJ, and today we are reviewing set 41191, Nadia and the Water Turtle Ambush, from the latest line of Elves sets. It looks like this theme is returning to elemental animals again, but this time they're not all dragons, as the uh, water creature appears to be some sort of turtle. Um, the villain this time is a, a new evil elf witch, and she's apparently in control of these kind of vampire dogs with wings, and you see the one that comes in this set is named Furry, whereas our favorite elf character is the uh, water elf, Nadia, and you can see some of the other characters up in the corner. Another interesting bit is that Nadia has a weapon, um, as do all the elves in this wave. So that's an interesting departure from these sets, which have been fairly conflict-free. So it looks like the set comes with a cool turtle, a little boat for a uh, furry, and a small water landscape piece where she can uh, fire projectiles of some sort. Uh, the back of the box features a few more details. It shows the chain that furry is trying to use to capture the turtle, and it shows how Nadia can rescue him and make their getaway. Uh, you have some nice little artwork of the turtle here, uh, as well as the dogs. And it seems like the theme here is that the evil elf is trying to chain up all the elemental animals. So you need to collect them all and free them all, I guess. Still, it makes for an interesting concept, and it'll be cool to see uh, how this plays out in the television show. Uh, this set comes with 205 pieces, and it retails for USD $19.99. So it's uh, fairly affordable. And if you look at the top of the box, it appears that the turtle is named Cory. Uh, one last interesting detail about the box is that it's actually a standard rectangular box. It doesn't have the kind of curved corners that the L sets used to have. I honestly don't know if this is a trend that started uh, last year, if this is new for this year, but it uh, caught my attention. But enough about the box. Let's see what's inside it. And here you have the pieces. For a water set, it's pretty standard that you got a lot of blue. You have uh, some dark azure, some medium azure, some aqua, uh, some trans blue, and a few other interesting pieces. Uh, you have this trans neon green chain. Seen this before, but it appears a lot in this wave. Uh, you also have these bat wings in trans green these curved bricks in uh, aqua. It's a fairly uncommon color, so I'm sure they're a bit rare. Uh, this is an interesting piece. It uh, appears to be kind of a diamond shape. It has the uh, elf water symbol on it, and it has a pin attachment here. So that looks like it'll be uh, useful. Hopefully uh, that piece will show up in a few other sets without the printing. Uh, you have these small one-by-one -one curved tiles in dark azure, as well as green. Uh, you also have these uh, round plates in medium azure, green. Uh, not super uncommon, but, you know. Another interesting element is this new flower piece. You also have this uh, flower petal piece, which is fairly uncommon. Uh, a new recolored turtle element in the friend style. This is a uh, cool kind of colored compass showing off the four main elements. And then, of course, you have the uh, giant turtle head. Uh, this is kind of a standard singular mold that we've expected from friends. Most of them have been dragon heads, so this is a, a different concept. It has a pinhole in the back for you to uh, make an attachment and a couple of studs on the top. Some nice printing on the eyes. So it's a very specialized element, but I think it works for a, a giant turtle creature that we're going to build. As for the enemy, you have a furry, which is this kind of like fox with a bat wings. This particular guy has a trans green ears and wings and a little pinhole for an accessory in his back. And one thing that the friends theme is bringing back is the uh, teal color. This has shown up in a couple of sets. Sadly, you only get one tooth piece in uh, teal in this particular set. But still, that's uh, more teal than we've gotten in recent years. 
Uh, this bar element is also pretty cool. Uh, they first appeared in the Ninjago City set, but glad it's appearing in uh, smaller sets. And there's also this uh, Egyptian staff piece that's being reused again, as well as a few other uh, gold elements like the claw pieces, the uh, long horn element here, and some more teeth. And I think that wraps it up for all the uh, cool, interesting elements in this set. Um, so now let's see what these pieces all put together. And here we have the full set with a remarkable number of extra small pieces. So the three main parts of the set are the uh, small water landscape piece, the uh, little evil boat, and the turtle himself. The minifigure for this set is Nadia, and she has a costume upgrade. She has a little bit more dark blue built into her outfit. Uh, it actually reminds me of the Water Tribe from Avatar Last Airbender. So that's kind of a cool design. She has a, a new staff weapon with her water emblem at the top. And she also holds onto a new map that uh, will likely show their journey for the elemental creatures this wave. So overall, a pretty cool update for the Water Elf. Uh, the first build is this small landscape piece. It features uh, this cool lily plant design. Uh, this uses the uh, new flower piece to connect to the uh, stalk and then add the uh, trans purple cone to the top. It looks pretty nifty. Uh, you also have a little lily built here using some of the green pieces. Some of the standard uh, trans clear elf crystal elements. Uh, this here kind of shows a fish jumping out of the water. That's a neat mechanism, and I guess this is supposed to be a small waterfall, which is a fairly common occurrence in these uh, elf sets. Uh, the action feature here is this uh, shooter piece. The idea is that you pull this back and you can fire a tile. Uh, you get two of these tiles, uh, so one's an extra ammunition piece. But overall, a uh, simple and elegant action feature. The next build is Furry's Evil Little Boat. Um, it's another very simple build, but it actually looks quite good for what it is. Uh, you have the dark blue curved slopes forming the uh, hull of the ship. Uh, pretty simple. And uh, this wing piece makes an excellent sail. And the uh, dark blue, black, and trans green color scheme uh, works out nicely. Uh, you do have a little bit of the teal color on the uh, stern of the boat. Um, it's not pretty apparent. Would have been cooler to see more teal, but I uh, guess not in this set. Uh, this is actually one of my favorite uh, stud shooter mechanisms because it's attached to the chain, so you can shoot it off. Uh, but the stud, it comes right back to you. So this is used to uh, attack the uh, turtle and hopefully uh, wrap it up in the chain so he can take it back to his master. Overall, a, a neat concept for a boat. It probably would be a uh, pretty cool poly bag set, but it's nice as a secondary vehicle to get in a small set like this. Now half the pieces build the uh, creature of water, which is uh, the turtle named Cory. Uh, articulation isn't exactly Cory's strong suit. If you flip him onto his belly, you see he has uh, the mixel joints uh, at the legs, as well as an extension on his neck. You also have a joint piece on the tail at the bottom there. Um, the head is a bit unfortunate. Even with the extension, you can't really turn it that much. Uh, you can bend it down like this, but I don't see the turtle uh, being in this kind of pose very often. So it would have been cool if he had some kind of capability to turn his head around, but you don't really get that with this connection. He does have this uh, cool water piece uh, attached to the top of his head to showcase his elemental abilities. And the shell element is kind of cool with the uh, dark azure base and the trans blue uh, chi slopes giving some texture. There's a hinge panel in here that gets these sloping down, uh, but it squeezes in nicely so there's not a lot of movement. So it looks pretty cool. Um, the back has a uh, seat that Nadia can uh, fit into so she can go riding the turtle through the waves. 
the legs themselves are pretty simple. Uh, you get a lot of these uh, aqua pieces uh, because they're used in all the legs. And you have a kind of cool uh, tiling effect here on the front legs. But uh, they're pretty basic, especially compared to some of the other uh, creatures we've seen in Mixels and uh, the Legends of Chima and also the Elves' Dragons. The gold spike pieces do a good job of rounding out the bottom of the shell. Um, the gold piece doesn't quite fit in snug here because uh, this piece isn't wide enough, but it's uh, adequate enough for most purposes. And you also get a little baby turtle uh, in the aqua color with this cool purple shell design on the top. So overall, it's a nifty set. At uh, $19.99 USD, it's uh, the second cheapest of the elves sets. And it is the uh, cheapest set that you get an elemental creature in. So there's some appeal there. Um, the turtle itself looks pretty good for a turtle. Uh, it's not the most interesting animal, especially considering all the other kinds of creatures you could have uh, to represent the water element. But it's a different move, and I think it works out nicely here. And with, with a decent craft for the uh, villainous furry, you also have a lot of playability in the set as well. In a direct comparison, some of the other elves sets this year might be better because they have cooler looking creatures. Um, but if you're on a budget, this is still a decent set. Or if you're a collector, you're going to want to collect them all. So this is one of the uh, elemental beasts, so you need to pick them up. Well, thanks again for watching another BZ Power Set review. Make sure to like and subscribe to the BZ Power YouTube channel and stay tuned for more reviews and uh, LEGO news. And you can read the full text and picture review of this set on bzpower.com. Thanks again for watching. Boo-boo! <laughs>